The 477 bus in Northumberland runs once or twice a day, twice a week. The bus begins its run at one of seven different times, seemingly at random. Why does it have such an odd timetable? I'll say that one more time. The 477 bus in Northumberland runs once or twice a day, twice a week. The bus begins its run at one of seven different times, seemingly at random. Why does it have such an odd timetable? I feel like I'm back in school, which is a fun <laughs> and scary feeling. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got that, like, SAT test anxiety going on. Yeah, but it's, it's fun. I love the puzzle. It only runs twice a week. Is that what you said? Yeah, twice a week, once or twice a day, seemingly at random. Is it like sunrise and sunset? What if it's like an airplane that lands very rarely and the airplane and the bus needs to take the passengers from one place to another place, but the plane lands at random times? It seems like there must be some sort of trigger and that trigger is the random thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, sunset mm. and sunrise happen slightly differently at a slightly That's different true. time every day. Once or twice a day, twice per week. And it begins its run at one of seven different times, seemingly at random. One of seven. Mm -hmm. So there's only seven different times. I wonder if that seven is key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is the location of this event uh, notable? Yeah. Anyone in the Northumberland area, which is sort of northeast of uh, the United Kingdom, if you're in that mm. area, you will already be screaming the answer. Um, <laughs> I, I okay. suspect so, so our there's... producer may have lined this question up for a show with three Americans in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay. there's, if one of you's Canadian, I, I'm so apologetic for, for getting that wrong. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's see. So, so it's something local. There's seven. There's seven different times, but there's seven like precise times that it can happen. But the choice of when it leaves, like which time that is, it seems random. Yeah, and I'm not saying much because between you all, you're vaguely starting to approach the answer. Okay. Oh. I'm also thinking like because it can happen once or twice, <clears throat> I feel like that might rule out something like the sunset, sunrise, sunrise because yeah. why would that why would it be once or twice? So like what would happen sometimes one time, <clears throat> sometimes two times. Twice a week. Is it something like a fairy? Oh, a boat. I was like a, like a fairy princess. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical. It's magical. <laughs> is it magic? <laughs> yeah, is it magic, though? <laughs> you can't rule that out. <laughs> um, uh, it, it could run seven days a week. It's actually just a tourist route and that it happens to run on these days. Mm. Okay. Is it something with the mm. tides? Like tides coming in? Yes. Yes. That's why I kept my mouth shut, because you said sun, and that wasn't quite the right astronomical body. But, <laughs> but something yeah. celestial yep. based on, okay. okay. So it has to do with the tides. So maybe it's a fairy, maybe it's a fairy, maybe it's based on the tides. Like maybe it's a boat and it can only leave during high tide or something. It is an actual bus, but you're nearly there. Uh, oh, Emily. a bus. I mean, is there like a bridge that is underwater at high tide? Yes, there is. Spot on. This da, is da, da, da. Okay. this is the <laughs> causeway across the sea to Lindisfarne or Holy Island in the northeast, ah. and it is quite a famous causeway in Britain uh, that more or less twice a day gets covered by the tide, and that time shifts by about an hour each day. So the bus schedule is. <laughs> Pick a time when the bus can actually get over and, more importantly, can get back. Wow! That's so interesting! Wow. I, I have to admit, at the beginning of this, I gave us slim chances <laughs> of getting this right. <laughs> <laughs> this is so random! I'm really, I'm really happy we did. Good job, team. Yeah, that was really good teamwork. I was panicking that we were going to be done in 60 seconds as soon as Emily said sunrise. I was like, well, let's this be solved it for you. <laughs> Uh, it's worth looking up at some point footage from this because it is at low tide just a, a pathway that's you know had a road built over it. Uh, it was an old pilgrim's path many many years ago, um, but then the water starts arriving and starts flooding it, and there is always 
some idiot who's got stuck on the other side who thinks they can make it across in their car, and most of the time they can, and then about once a month, the Coast Guard have to arrive for someone who has had to leave their swamped car and run up to one of the, like, safety towers just to stop them being swept away. Oh my gosh! Why don't they build a new bridge? I think it's partly tradition and partly because the island... <laughs> the island's kind of got this, this historic mystery air about it. I think they quite like the fact mm. that this is only accessible at certain times. Now, do they have yeah, to scrape cool. the road every now and then from, like, that, you know, mold and... Like other things building up to, to make because this of the can water. Be slick. I guess so. Yeah, I've not thought about that. That's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. corrosion is a thing. Yeah, seems structurally unsound. <laughs> I mean, I've been there. There's just a big old sign next to it with a load of tide times and very big warnings on it that you you have to hope that people read. Fascinating. <laughs> So yes, the 477 bus in Northumberland only runs at certain times because otherwise it'll get a bit wet.